So I've been stalking Viltrox's website to see when they're going to release this lens, the 28 millimeter 4.5 and it's for full frame. <laughs> I've been very excited about this. I've been literally looking at their page and it is nicknamed, uh, here we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's called the chip, but it's called the chip. It's nicknamed the chip. And it finally came in. I'm very excited. And uh, yeah, for the next few days, I am going to have nothing on my camera other than this lens not for my professional stuff because that's just wild and there's already been some warnings and some things that you shouldn't do when you get this lens like for instance you're not supposed to put it on your camera without actually having it fully open so that's something to take into consideration and when i say fully open i mean there is a lens uh, um, cap or something of that nature on it um, that you actually have to take off or slide open i'm not entirely sure let's see oh okay cool so here it is here there you go see that's how it opens so it doesn't have a lens cap already that's a little weird for me for me that's just me it does feel like plastic for sure i don't think this is a metal mount or maybe it is i think it is but it does come with a USB-C plug-in here. Yeah, like you can see right there, the USB-C plug-in so you can update the lens if there's any um, uh, uh, update software um, or anything like that for the lens in particular. So that's pretty cool. And obviously this is why it's called the chip because it's so small. I guess that's why. <laughs> and apparently it's a very powerful lens. I do have a question. Why couldn't the makers of Viltrox get this down to a 2.8 or 1.2 aperture? Because it's really weird that the lowest aperture, the only aperture that you can have it set on is 4.5. Something that I realized that you can't do is even if I wanted to have like a ND filter or something of that nature on this, I can't because there is no threading around it for me to put a step up ring or anything of that nature to thread it on or even just to have something that's built specifically for this. I can't do that. So I am stuck with just the lens itself. I'm interested, I'm curious to see how this lens actually works out. And I'm going to be putting this on this camera here, actually the A7 uh, C2. That is my walk around and we're gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna disturb you for just one second. If you are loving the content that you're seeing so far, go ahead and like this. If you are really loving it, then you can definitely subscribe. Like, I would absolutely love that. And if you don't wanna miss anything else that I do on this channel that has to have everything to do with storytelling, filmmaking, and honestly, I just love cameras. And if you love cameras as well, hit the bell. Yeah, so like, subscribe, hit the bell. Yeah, do those things and I'll love you forever. Okay, cool, let's get back to the video. Seems to struggle with the highlights in particular. Kind of strange. See, like if I go here, dynamic range is better, but as soon as the light comes in, the contrast changes. This is day one of me using this camera as my everyday camera. Um, not my camera, so sorry. This lens is my everyday lens. Um, it's interesting. Uh, so far, it seems like it has a little bit of focus breathing. That happens quite a bit. I'm curious to see if it's going to be noisy or not. struggles with see 
really struggles with dynamic range. This camera has good dynamic. So I finished two meetings for the morning and now we are going to be walking to my next meeting that is not too far from here, about eight, eight minutes walk. And while we're walking, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of extra time and we're going to go ahead and get some uh, shots with this, some street photography, things of that nature, uh, just to kind of see how it does. I'm curious because I can't use an ND filter or CPL filter or anything like that with this. I'm, I'm curious to know how it works out. It should be okay because it's at aperture 4.5, but I guess we'll see, right? So. I do like this lens in particular because it definitely is nimble enough. Like there are things that I don't necessarily like about it, which is obviously it being at 4.5 only and me having to crank the shutter speed and so on. Yeah, that can be very difficult, but it's growing on me. And just like only using this camera for the last two days, I definitely see the benefit of it, even though it has its peculiarities. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, it definitely is, is, is a good walk around lens to have. Because with this lens, I literally, all I have to do is shut the 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 lid which i'm getting used to now um yeah um, i just have to shut the lid and just drop it into my pocket and no one would ever know that i have a camera in my pocket that's capable of doing all of this so it's good it has some struggles but it's growing on me uh, we'll see how i feel at the end of the day My take on this lens is that it's a good lens. I wouldn't say a great lens, but it's a good lens. Uh, a couple of weird things about this lens in particular is that it has an aperture of 4.5, a fixed aperture, like you can't change it. That's weird to me. So that's definitely a strike against it. What I thought was weird in the lens cap that they have that is sliding, um, actually is not as weird. I actually really do like it <laughs> uh, because when I'm on the go, things that nature, it was just a slide of uh, the hood and you're all good. Now, I did forget the hood on a, a couple of times and I turned on the camera. Nothing bad has happened. However, I wouldn't suggest doing that because the manufacturers, Voltrox themselves said you probably shouldn't do that. So I will not do that, but it won't screw it up, uh, screw up the lens at least if you just do it once once again don't try it but just letting you know like it happened everything's fine the lens is working just fine another thing that i didn't necessarily like is that there's no on lens controls in particular but how could there be it's so small right and that's why it's called the chip Either way, it's nice to have those uh, controls on the lens in particular. You can't turn it to manual. It's always an autofocus in particular. And um, I don't necessarily like that. Uh, um, there's no focus wheel. There's uh, no aperture wheel, obviously, because it's at a fixed aperture. But still, like I, I like to have certain controls that are on the lens itself that you can't have that here. Like even with the 50 millimeters, the nifty 50s and so on, at least they had like a, a manual focus and a autofocus um, setting on the lens itself, just in case you didn't want it to always be in um, autofocus. So I guess that wouldn't be consider the pancake lens but either way that is a weird thing good thing about it is obviously the size of it it's great it could fit into my pocket i absolutely love uh, um 
this lens because of that. Um, when I put it on my camera, the a7C2, that is my walk around camera. So this works very uh, well with it. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely say that is good. The image quality is actually not terrible. Um, there is a little bit of vignetting that happens on the sides in particular, but like that could be edited out. That's perfectly fine. And it wasn't heavy vignetting, so I'm comfortable with it. So this lens is for your street photographers. If you're one of those individuals that's just trying to get shots of your kids, your family, Christmas, Thanksgiving, things of that nature, then this is probably a good lens for you for sure. Um, all of that to say, this is for your hobbyist. I wouldn't do any professional work with this. This is also for partly for your content creation. You don't have um, as much control over it, but I would definitely use it to vlog some things, but in harsh light, it can be very difficult to manage. As you can see, like I'm struggling with this lens. I like it and I don't like it. And it's like a bittersweet review in the sense. Um, but yeah, that's what you get out of the lens. I can't say that you'll really like it. I can't say you'll hate it, but you'll be somewhere in the middle where you're like, ah, it works. Will I use this lens again? 100%. It's probably gonna be on my camera a lot of the times um, just for taking pictures of the family and stuff like that, walk around, but um, vlogging, using it for you know the channel, all of that, eh, I don't know. Either way, that's all for me today. If this is something that blessed your spirit, go ahead and like this. If this is something that you want to keep up with, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, blow it up, people's elbow it, and all that great stuff. And if you want to get an alert of when the next one comes out, go ahead and hit that bell as well. Please do. Until the next one, go ahead and do something creative today. Peace.